Good morning, everyone. My name is Veritas, and welcome back to Destiny. Now, today is Friday. It happens to be Zer Day, the day that Zer, an exotic merchant, arrives in a social space, excluding Felwinter Peak, and is selling some stuff for you to purchase. This week, he's in the Reef. Showed you how to get here, kind of. If you don't know how to get to the Reef, you probably shouldn't be buying anything from Zer. Let's see what he's got. As always, I don't know what he has, so it's always fun to find out. Interesting. Okay. So... Zer's exotic gear this week is Legacy Engram, uh, special weapon Engram here. Uh, this will turn into a year one uh, special weapon. So anything prior to taking King that is a special weapon you can get here. Uh, patience and time, things along those lines. Um, if you're missing anything from like uh, the Fourth Horseman from you know PlayStation era and you want that you know to be available in your kiosk, this would be how you go about getting that. Moving over to the Titan gear, we have the ACDO Feedback Fence. Not a great pair of gauntlets in terms of what they do. They're neat looking, but as always, the best looking gear is usually the worst uh, perk-wise. This has Wrath Conductors. Taking damage from a melee deals damage to the area around you. So if you get hit by like a Thrall or someone in Crucible, uh, melee attacks basically will cause an electric pulse to go around you, an AoE effect if you will. Uh, it's a very weak effect. It barely kills thralls, as far as I remember. Um, it's very weak in Crucible as well, so it's not worth your exotic slot. But uh, if you want something that looks neat, go ahead and pick these up. Uh, and discipline strength here, rain blows, impact induction, scout rifle loader, and rocket launcher loader, as well as a full strength build. Since these are a melee-based uh, pair of gauntlets, they will always have strength. You cannot roll them without strength. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and see what the rolls on these are. It looks like a 91% stat roll on the gauntlets here. So if you want to pick these up, 91% on that. Move to the Hunter Exotic. The Bones of Ao, uh, Intellect Discipline here, increases double jump to have a triple jump. So that's what these do. Uh, not bound by law. Upgrades double jump with an additional jump. So it doesn't work on blink. You can't have a double blink, but you can have triple jump or quadruple jump if you want to. Uh, increase, I think quad jump exists, right? There's a there's a triple jump option, then you can have fourth jump, I think. I don't hunter very often. I guess I do. I just don't remember. Um, in, intellect and discipline here for you, sniper ammo and machine gun ammo, as well as void double down. So, decent pair of boots. These are an 86% stat roll, however, so I don't recommend them for your build. They are very bad in terms of stats, but you can always reroll them. Uh, max on boots is 79.79, I believe, so... Look out for that. These are 7171, which is why they are bad. Uh, moving over to the Warlock exotic, the Heart of Praxic Fire chest piece armor. Uh, this has the exotic perk Praise the Sun, Dark Souls reference, if you did not know. Further decrease to all abilities and cooldowns uh, when Radiance is active, increase agility as well. Uh, so, it's stuff there, decent. Uh, the chest piece doesn't look terrible. It's, uh, aesthetically, it's quite pleasing, but, uh, the perk, again, is kind of useless. Intellect and Discipline here, uh, Hand Cannon Ammo and Shotgun Ammo, as well as Void Burn Defense and Solar Armor. This Void Burn Defense is the version of defense that you want, uh, reduces incoming Void Burn damage, so for Void Burn Week, very good here. Um, this being a Sunsinger chest piece, however, I would recommend getting one with, uh, Solar Burn Defense, because you'll probably be using it when you're on a Solar Week, so things to think about there. Like I said, not a great chess piece. The Praise the Sun perk is fine in theory, but a lot of Sunsinger builds, if you just have, um, you know, high discipline, high strength, and uh, with all of the buffs to the Sunsinger actual super uh, throughout the years, it's kind of useless to even use this chess piece, because you're going to have a time uh, when your cooldowns are so low, but you won't be able to throw grenades, because there's actually a in-game cooldown between grenades being able to throw, so you'll have more cooldown than you'll have time to throw them, if that makes any sense. You won't be able to throw as many as you should, because you hit a limit. Uh, moving over to the auto rifle, or rather, the exotic weapon of the week, is the hard light auto rifle. Uh, this thing is pretty neat, made by Amalon. Uh, it's pretty, pretty dope there. So it is a interesting auto rifle. It's not a great choice, but it's kind of fun to use. Volatile Light is the perk here. Rounds fired from this weapon have no damage fall off, over penetrate targets, and ricochet off heart surfaces. So it's basically shooting light, uh, which is kind of fun, actually. It's a neat weapon in theory. Like I said, not great in practice. So if you want to mess around with it, please don't be that guy in the Crucible running around with it because you're not helping your team at all. And don't run around in strikes with it. It doesn't do arc damage, even if the bolts are blue. So have fun with that. It's basically a 3D printing auto rifle. 
it's essentially what it does. Uh, quick draw as well as fitted stock, glass half full, and spray and flight. Moving down to the weapon bundles this week, we have the last word and addendum. Uh, the last word is an exotic hand cannon, and addendum is an ornament for it to make it look neat. The other weapon bundle is Red Death and White Witch, uh, arguably the worst of the two um, ornaments for Red Death. So if you want Red Death and you want White Witch, go ahead and buy this. Same thing with Last Word and Addendum. If you don't, go ahead and save your coins and your silver dust. Very expensive version here, but if it's exactly what you want, then it's you know worth whatever you can pay for it. Moving down to Curios this week, we have the Plasma Drive and the quote-unquote Emerald Coil. Consistency is number one here at Bungie, so that's why they're named as such. Plasma Drive and the Emerald Coil, quote-unquote, uh, can be used to upgrade rare quality sparrows that can be purchased from the Vanguard and Crucible Quartermasters uh, for 175 legendary marks. They can then be used to upgrade those rare quality sparrows into legendary quality sparrows uh, with a blue or green trail, respectively. Moving into the heavy ammo synthesis, we have three for one and three for uh, yeah, three for one and ten for three. Math. Uh, ten for three is a better deal, obviously. Basic math. Uh, these can be used to trade into factions for faction packages. Faction packages drop up to 400 light now. Enjoy that. Or they can be used to replenish ammo when you need heavy ammo in combat. Moving over to three of coins, stackable effect, basically a 5% buff every time you use one, and it's burned. So if you're going to go through strikes, go ahead and use one at the beginning of a strike, go through, kill the boss. If you don't get an exotic engram, use another one. The next one you use after not getting one will be another increase. I like to say 5%. It's more or less than that. Fuck off, cat. I'm busy doing shit. Um, so that's that. how that works. Works with crucible matches as well. So if you're doing the crucible, use one at the beginning of a match, go through it. If you don't get one, use another one. Increases the chances. If you're really lucky, you get one every single time. If you're really unlucky, you never get one at all. Have fun with that. Don't use five at once. It doesn't work that way, please. Uh, glass needles. These can be used to reroll exotic armors. So if you really want the bones of Iao or Ao or Iao or whatever, if you really want these and you're really sad that they're a shitty stat roll, I didn't mention that the Heart of Praxis Fire is a 96% stat roll, though. It's, it's a pretty good stat roll. Recommended. Uh, if you want stats. Anyway, so the Bones of AO, really low stat roll, 86%. If you want to buy these and then you want to re-roll them for a perfect roll, go ahead and buy some glass needles and then twist the fate. It costs a lot of stuff, but you can do it. This will change the perks, the amount of perks, or sorry, the perks, what perks it has, the stats, and the stat allocation. Uh, so it'll move around, you know, intellect, strength, discipline. It'll move those values around. It'll move perks around. Certain weapons, and or sorry, rather, certain armors can and can't have certain stats or certain perks like I believe the feedback fences will always have strength uh, I believe that the harder practice of fire will always have discipline I, I'm not exactly sure which one it will always have um, you can usually tell based on what they do what they augment like the void fang vestments augment your grenade ability so they will always have discipline basically is how you can figure that out so enjoy that if you want to very expensive end game item there uh, material exchange, mode of light is the worst exchange rate in the game, never use it. Uh, and the exotic shards things, I will show you how to duplicate these quickly, rather how to get more of them uh, for less. So go ahead and buy one if you want one, if you need more than these, follow me to the tower and I will show you how to get more. Please stop inviting me to a party, mother of god, I'm working. G I'll see you in the tower in just a moment. Once you've arrived in the tower, go ahead and make your way down to the Vanguard. There is a kiosk down here that will allow you to do something quite cheeky with exotic shards. If you take a right here, you will find the exotic weapon blueprints kiosk. Go ahead and go in here, and uh, if you have acquired it before, go ahead and pick up a truth rocket launcher. This works with, I think, all the weapons. I did it with a Nemesis Star last week. Uh, so go ahead and pick up a truth or anything. I don't think swords work, but I think anything else does. So go ahead and pick up a truth, go into your inventory, and equip that bad boy. Now either having a class item with rocket launcher upgrade rate, like I said, or having a heavy weapon telemetry here will increase the upgrade rate for them. They do not stack. Uh, I said last week or two weeks ago that they did stack. They in fact don't. Uh, what was happening was I have the Radiant Light buff from the Nightfall, which actually does stack with the effect. So either having a class item with Rocket Launcher or a heavy telemetry, that will stack with Radiant Light, but they will not stack with each other. So having the class item on, I will go ahead and upgrade this now. It will take five motes of light with the Radiant Light buff, or it will take six otherwise. Let's go ahead and use 
five of these, we should have a fully upgraded Truth Rocket Launcher here. Uh, that being done, no need to upgrade any of it, just filling it with experience is enough, and your one exotic shard that you bought from Zer for seven strange coins will turn into, magically, two exotic shards, some moats, weapon parts, and glimmer back. So this method for getting more exotic shards back is quite cheaper than the strange coins purchase from Zer. So using one set of strange coins, one seven set of strange coins there, will get you the ability to buy those. Those rocket launchers can be purchased for one exotic shard and 2,500 glimmer. Glimmer is arguably much easier to acquire uh, than strange coins. So enjoy that if you need exotic shards for your armors and things. Um, but that's gonna be it for me for this week. Uh, like I said, Zer doesn't really have anything worthwhile. Uh, if he has anything that you really want personally, go ahead and pick it up as always. Uh, I don't, you know, I'm not gonna tell you not to buy something you want. I'm just here to recommend if you want things that are good stat rolls or objectively good weaponry. Um, that being said, enjoy your week. Uh, if I had to recommend things stat wise, Heart of Praxic Fire is 96%. The weapon's pretty interesting. Uh, for patrols and stuff like that, and everything else is your own ability to uh, figure out if you want it or not. That's going to be it for me. I will see you on Tuesday for the weekly reset video. Uh, enjoy Iron Banner while it's active until Tuesday, things like that. But uh, that's going to be it for me. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see anything that I do solo or co-op, links in the description. Plan Ring City right now for Dark Souls 3. Other stuff like that, like I said, description links for you there. Twitch and Twitter in the description as well. If you want to see me on other websites or talk to me there and uh yeah it's gonna be it for me so like i said thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed i very much appreciated and as always until next time